Hello. Well, now I have come up with the question on GST. Let me read out first. A manufacturer sells an article to a dealer for 6,000 rupees and the dealer sells it to a consumer at a profit of 500 rupees. If the sales are interested and the rate of GST is 12% find the amount of GST paid by the dealer to the state government, amount of GST received by central government, amount of GST received by state government and the amount paid by the consumer for the article. Children, you feel that very complicated sums, problems are complicated. It is very easy and it will be very easy if you do stepwise. Listen carefully. First, manufacturer. Let us work out for manufacturer. Okay? Manufacturer sells the article to a dealer for 6,000 rupees. For the manufacturer, selling price is 6,000 rupees. Okay? To the dealer. To the dealer. That means he collects tax from the dealer. Whatever tax he collects, he has to pay to government. And it is given that sales are interest rate. That means he will collect, he has to collect 12% GST, 6% of his selling price in the form of SGST and 6% of his selling price in the form of CGST. SGST goes to state government, CGST goes to central government. Okay? So, SBA selling price is 6000 GST is 12%. Sales are interest rate. For the manufacturer, input tax is zero. Because from where he purchased and all not given to us. So, whatever tax he collects, he pays to the government. Okay? So, his output tax itself, he has to pay to the government. Input tax is zero for him. So, let us find manufacturer heading we wrote now. Now, we can write output CGST. Means, whatever C GST collected in the form of CGST, collected output is total GST percentage is 12%. Sales are interested. So 6% of 6,000 rupees he collects in the form of CGST. That means 360 60 rupees he collected from the dealer. Same way output is GST. Also same thing 6% of 6000 rupees that is 360 rupees. I already told you if the sales are interested 50% goes to state government, 50% go to, goes to central government. So for the manufacturer output CGST is 360 rupees, output SGST is also 360 rupees. He will pay to government this much amount. Manufacturer pays 360 rupees to central government. 360 rupees to state government. Let us find out for the dealer and all. Then as per the question we will answer. Now let us work out for dealer. Work out for dealer. Okay. Manufacturer sells the article to dealer. That means dealer, dealer purchase the article. That means manufacturer sells. Selling price is equal to dealer's cost price. That is 6,000 rupees. And the dealer sells it to a consumer at a profit of 500 rupees. Dealer's profit is 500 rupees. So dealer's selling price is, you know the cost price plus profit. That is 
6,500 rupees is the dealer's selling price. Okay? The dealer sells the article to the consumer for 6,500 rupees. He purchased the article from the wholesaler for 6,000 rupees and he sold the article to the consumer for 6,500 rupees. Okay? Now, let us find out what is dealer's output CGST and dealer's output SGST. For the dealer, output CGST is same way, 6% of, he sold for 6,500 rupees, 6,500 rupees, that is 6 by 100 into 6,500, two zeros cancel, 6 by 30, 0, 6, 6 by 36, 339. That means the dealer collected from the consumer 390 rupees in the form of CGST. Same way, dealer's output SGST. Let us find out. It is also same. 6% 6 of 6500. That is 390 rupees only. Already you calculated. That means the dealer collected 392 rupees in the form of SGST, 394 rupees in the form of CGST from the consumer. And how much he has to pay to the government? Manufacturer complete amount he pays to the government, 360 to central, 360 to state. Because his input tax is zero. But for the dealer, already he paid to the manufacturer 360 rupees in the form of SGST, 360 rupees in the form of CGST. Manufacturer's output CGST means dealer's input CGST. So for the dealer, input CGST is 360 rupees he paid. And for the dealer's input SGST is also 360 rupees. Okay, so the dealer, dealer's net SGST, net payable to state government, means for the dealer's output SGST is 390 rupees, his output input SGST is 360 rupees, so 30 rupees the dealer pays to state government. Similarly, net to CGST, that means what is the net payable by the dealer to the central government? Same way, the dealer collected 390 rupees from the consumer, the dealer paid 360 rupees to the manufacturer, so he pays 30 rupees to the central government. Are you clear? Consumer already paid to the dealer. His work is over. Dealer paid to manufacturer. Dealer collected from the consumer. So con how much collected minus how much pay he pays to government. Clear? Now as for the question let us answer. Find the amount of GST paid by the dealer to the state government first bit. The amount of GST paid by dealer to state government amount to the state government how much the dealer paid 30 rupees One dealer how much paid the question is asked the dealer paid to state government 30 rupees and three more questions, let me rub out here and do, okay? Your second question is, amount of GST received by the central government. That means central government how much amount received? Both manufacturer and the dealer pay to central government. So, your second bit is, 
the amount of GST received by central government equal to manufacturer how much he paid to central government 360 rupees dealer how much he paid to central government net is gst 30 rupees so the amount received by the central government is 390 rupees and your third bit is the amount of GST received by state government. The amount of GST received by state government. Same way let us find out. Let us see. Manufacturers paid 360 rupees to state government. And the dealer paid 30 rupees to state government. So state government also receives 390 rupees. Yes. Now fourth bit is the amount consumer pays for the article. How much amount the consumer paid for the article. Okay. Let me clear it. Your fourth bit is the amount paid by consumer. The dealer's selling price. How much? 6,500. Dealer sold to whom? Dealer sold to consumer. So the dealer's selling price is equal to consumer's cost price. The amount paid by the consumer is 6,500 and also dealer's output CGST, output SGST means he collected from the consumer 390 rupees in the form of CGST, 390 rupees in the form of SGST, yes or no? This 390 rupees consumer paid to dealer, this 390 rupees consumer paid to SGST consumer paid to dealer. Output, dealer's output means he collected from the dealer. So the, he, he collected from the consumer, so he collected from the consumer. So 6,500 is the cost price of the consumer. 390 rupees he, he paid towards SGST. 390 rupees he paid towards CGST. So total amount paid by the consumer is 0. 9918 one carry. 437-7512-167. So, the amount paid by the consumer is 7,280 rupees. I believe you understood. Children, these GST problems are complicated but not tough. Stepwise, if you do, it will be very easy. How much money collected is output. Tax collected is output tax. Tax paid is input tax. Every person in the selling chain, you see, manufacturer, how much he paid? He did not pay to anyone. So his input tax is zero. He collected from the dealer, so that is output tax. So he did not pay to anyone, so he has to pay to government. Already I told you that whatever amount is collected in the form of tax has to reach the government. Now dealers, dealer pay to wholesaler, dealer collected from consumer. So collected the GST minus pay GST, he pays to government. Okay, as the sales are interested, 6% is GST, 6% is SGST. Okay, I believe you understood. And as per the questions, you have to answer. I believe you understood it clearly, practice well. You will do well. Okay? Thank you.